Alright, what's up guys? This is FX Theater, and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can install Sony Vegas or any other Windows software onto your Mac. So, first off, you're going to need an application called Boot Camp Assistant. Sorry my dock is so crowded, but just look down here where my mouse is. Um, now, Boot Camp Assistant allows you to run any Windows uh, program on your Mac. And Boot Camp Assistant already comes with your uh, Mac. Just click on your Mac Tonish HD right here and uh, you'll find it in your Applications folder. So we're just going to click on Boot Camp Assistant right now. And uh, it says the Boot Camp Assistant helps you install Microsoft Windows XP or Windows Vista operating systems on an Intel based Mac computer. And it just says back up your disk for partitioning it or installing Windows. If you're installing Windows on a portable computer, connect the power adapter, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is this right here, this top part right here. Um, so this basically, like I said, uh, all you have to have is run a Best Buy or wherever um, and pick up uh, Windows XP or Windows Vista. And I'm not sure if Windows 7 works on it or not, but I'm sure if you go to Best Buy, you can ask and they would know, or some place like Best Buy, your local tech store. And we're just going to continue here. Now, what you can do is, you can uh, use 32 gigabytes to make your Windows like how big you want it to be, or whatever, you know how you can click on it, like, you know, just make it bigger, and like your uh, disk space for your Windows. So. You can still have this much, but it takes away from your Mac LSX uh, gigabytes of memory. But still, it gives it to Windows and it allows you to run, like I said, Sony Vegas. I had a couple questions if Sony Vegas worked on Mac, and this is how you do it. And simply just partition your disk and install Windows, your Windows program, Vista or Windows 7, or I'm not sure if Windows 7 works, like I said, but uh, Windows XP or Windows Vista. Um, and you can run any Windows software on there. So, hope this helped you guys. Please comment and rate, and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.